In this video, I'm going to work through two examples of logarithms where we are expanding the logarithms based on your properties of logarithms. Um, if you do not remember your properties of logarithms or you need to review those, um, go ahead and search my channel because I do have two previous videos where I talk about just the properties of logarithms themselves, the properties that I will be using to expand these logarithms. All right, so in this first example right here, I'm going to, I have a single logarithm. I'm going to expand it using the properties of logarithms. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look inside here, and I'm going to see that I've got an x squared times the square root of x, or square root of y, sorry. Um, so it's a product going on there. We have a logarithm property that says if I am multiplying two logs, I can expand it with addition. So I'm going to rewrite this using addition. So I would have the log of a base a x squared log of x squared base a plus the log of the square root of y base a okay now um, I'm going to take a look at each one of these and see if there's anything in addition that I can do to that this is an x squared alright so in my classroom we call this jumping the frog I can take that exponent and I can jump it down in front all right, I'm going to look over here at this one, and I'm going to say, okay, well, I can't do anything with the square root of y, but if I rewrote the square root of y in exponential form, then I would have a one-half up there, and I could also jump the frog on that one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and jump the frog in this one, so I would have 2 times the log of x base a, and I'm not skipping any steps. I'm going to first rewrite this with a one-half, so the log of y raised to the one half base a. Okay, now I can bring that down and jump the frog. Okay, and like I said, I call this jumping the frog with my students. All right, I really do think most textbooks call it a product rule. All right, so this one then would be two log of x base a plus one half log of y base a. All right, I have expanded it and uh, simplified it the best that I can based on my properties of logarithms. So at that point, I could stop. Okay, now on this one, I am seeing um, a quotient to start with. Right here is a quotient. All right, there is a property of logarithms that says when you see a quotient, then you can expand it into subtraction. So that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to write this as the log of the cube root of x base 6 and then I'm going to go minus the log of 36y to the fourth base 6. All right so that was focusing on this first part of seeing that quotient right there. So that was the first thing I did. I broke that up and expanded it using subtraction. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to take this radical and rewrite this with an exponent. Okay, and then I think probably that might be the only thing I do in that. Now I may work on this one in that same step. So log of x raised to the one third base six. That's the only thing I'm going to do to that one. Now on this one over here, I think what I want to do, this is the log of 36y to the fourth. Okay, so what is going on right in here is I see a a multiplication. All right, 36 is being multiplied by y to the fourth. Well, when I've got two things being multiplied, I can break that up into addition like I did in this first example. So I'm going to break this up into an addition. Now, it is subtracting everything to the right of this. So what I've got to remember is when I do that, that everything, if I choose to expand this, I'm expanding it all to the right side of this equal sign, so I've got to make sure I put some um, extra set of parentheses in there. Okay, so let's do minus, and they don't have to be square, they can be curvy, they can be square, either one. Let's go ahead and use square. This would be the log of 36 base 6, all right, and then plus the log of y to the fourth base 6. All right, and then what that does, hopefully you realize then you'll have to go through and change all those signs. All right, now in this next step, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to jump the frog because I have a one-third exponent here, and I've got a four exponent there, and at the same time, I'm going to go through and change all the signs on that. So I'm going to jump the frog on these two things and jump the um, distribute that negative through there when I rewrite this. So one-third log of x base 6 
minus a log 36 base 6, and then minus a 4 log of y base 6. All right, so I've gotten rid of the parentheses and I've jumped the frogs. Okay, now go through each one of these. This has got an x, this has got a y. I can't really do any evaluating there. All right, but this is all numbers. All right, so if you end up with something with all numbers and something that you can evaluate, then you probably should evaluate that. So this would be 6. I would ask myself 6 raised to what power equals 36? while 6 raised to the second power would equal 36, so I can evaluate this with a 2. So then my final expanded logarithm would look like a 1 third log of x base 6 minus 2 minus 4 log of y base 6. And then that is fully expanded. All right, so two examples of um, using your properties of logarithms to expand your logarithms. Definitely thanks for watching. Be sure and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends.